Wyla, or chicken scratch as it is sometimes called, is the social dance music of the Indians of southern Arizona. Papagos in particular have been playing polkas and two-steps since at least the 1860s. Here's this year's winner of the Sells Battle of the Bands, the Joaquin Brothers. Originally an all-instrumental group like most Papago bands, they've taken to working with a Yaqui vocalist, Nacho Armenta, when they are playing for Mexican or Anglo-American audiences. Like many Wyla bands, the Joaquins are basically a family organization. Three brothers, Angelo, Fernando, and Daniel, are joined by several members of the next generation. Although the group got its start playing at strictly Papago dances, they have recently been working for mixed audiences and traveled to Washington, D.C. last summer to bring their regional music to the National Folk Festival. Well, chicken scratch came from, the word came from the Pima uh, There was a certain kind of a dance that the uh, Papagos, uh, Papagos uh, used to do, you know, and uh, that's what the old timers, and that, that's what they call a chicken scratch. And now everything is just chicken scratch, but to us it's wild. Because this last, uh, during the summer, we played it on Speedway by the university, and we played there, and, and there was nothing but Anglos. And it was neat. And they really behave themselves, and they're nice. <laughs> you know, they're really nice people. Well, like they said too, uh, this this uh, music used to be played like violins and drums and guitar, no electricity. But now uh, we use two saxophones, and sometimes we use uh, an accordion. <laughs>
आके मान आके मान काम मामा Traditional songs and this string music called Chicken Scratch are only two expressions of the Papago Indian musical heritage.
These polkas and, and chotes that you play, they, are these things you've pretty well grown up with? These, uh, these tunes and these, these rhythms? Yes, that's all we heard when we were children, is chotes and polkas, and that's all we know, nothing else. And of course, when we started playing, that's what we were doing, we were playing that kind of music. Because that's where we grew up hearing it, and, and that's where we played. And that's what the people like, yeah. the Papagos like. But it's in no means a static thing either, because oh, this is no. constantly changing. Uh, we, we have more than enough information now to trace the, the change uh, just of instrumentation, for instance, of the Wyla band yeah. from the uh, 1860s.
through the present time. Oh, yes. And uh, it's going to continue to change. Sure. Uh, the amplification, the uh, electronic instruments, has, of yep. course, been the, the most recent change. I'm, I'm looking I'm looking for uh, for an electric organ in, in Wyla Music one of these days. That's right. Um, I'm also and, looking for a fiddle revival. Well, there is. There is still one yeah. string uh, Wyla group uh, yeah. in existence. Uh, but when when this electric organ comes in, how much Norcania style yeah. uh, influence are you uh, uh, might one anticipate? I don't know. I don't know. That's that's the exciting thing. It's 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 wonderful to know that that uh, by the time you think you found it all out, why it's all going to be different, right. and you get to start all over again. And how quickly it can change too. For instance, the uh, the drum coming into uh, uh, Papago Land, which ten years ago was uh, virtually non-existent. There was one uh, student group down uh, uh, at the cinema, I guess, that used records to mm -hmm. dance to for for a short period of time, but uh, no live drum music in Papago Land. And now it's a a very well established and uh, well accepted uh, form of musical expression. Wyla music uh, has been played by Papagos since at least the 1860s and I suspect uh, for many years before, before. that uh, I suspect that fiddles and guitars or violins and guitars came into Papago country in the late 18th century right. with missionaries uh, either Jesuit or Franciscan. Uh, by the 1860s Papagos were playing polkas and two steps in Tucson, uh, the band instrumentation were fiddles and guitars and maybe drums, though we don't hear about them. Right. The, you have uh, to realize, too, that this, this was uh, more or less the popular music uh, of Europe at, uh, right. in the 19th century also, and very quickly came through Mexico and uh, up into this part of the country. The point is, by now, there's only one or maybe two fiddle bands still on the reservation, right. and the standard instrumentation now is either accordion and uh, electric guitar, electric bass, and regular drum set, or accordion and sax, and electric guitar, electric bass, and drum set, or sometimes twin saxes, right. and the guitar and the bass and the drum set. The instrumentation of Wyla, of course, has changed over the years. Uh, used to be fiddles and guitars and maybe a bass drum and a snare drum. Now it's uh, accordions and saxophones and electric guitars and electric bass and a regular dance drum kit. But the tradition of playing this kind of music, polkas and two steps, on European orchestra and band instruments has kept on with Papagos for well over a hundred years. And that's Wyla, and it's fun to listen to and even more fun to dance to. The violin can do anything. The San Javier Fiddle Band with Edmund Wilson play their special kind of music throughout southern Arizona. Wyla music is for dancing. The word Wyla comes from the Spanish word for dance, baile. The polkas, waltzes, and chotas are played to a length determined by the pleasure and endurance of the dancers.
on the San Javier Tohono O'odham Reservation surrounding the historic San Javier Mission, the Tohono O'odham have a rich musical tradition with gourd rattles and drums. Way back, I don't know how many years, century ago or whatever, the folks don't know anything about violin, no instruments. Of course, they have instruments. That's a different, you know, like uh, gourd rattles, they used to dance, stump dancing. They used to have all kinds of dancing, you know. Traditional dancing, what they call it, you know. Singing, they used to rattles, you know. They didn't know anything about string instruments. You know. And they sing for that rattles to cure themselves, too. The stringed instruments used by early Wyla bands were probably brought by the Jesuit and Franciscan missionaries of the 18th and early 19th centuries. Adding the voices of violin and guitar to the native music, this native desert culture has created the unique sounds of Wyla, the musical expression of the Tohono O'odham people. We play Pascola. I, I know how to play uh, some Matachina songs and Western songs. And plus, uh, I know, chicken scratch, you know, they call it chicken scratch, you know, our song, what we play. melodies and dances that make up much of modern-day Wyla music were likely introduced in the 1850s. Also known as chicken scratch music, outsiders are often surprised to discover Wyla consists of European rhythms such as polkas, mazurkas, and the two steps that are locally called chotis. Some of the songs played are traditional Wyla pieces handed down from generation to generation. Others are from Mexican Norteño bands, and still others are from the traditional and contemporary American mainstream. Perhaps most important, Wyla is an oral tradition. Songs are not written down, but passed personally from musician to musician across generations. The names of the songs reflect this informality, translated from the A'odham language into English. They often come out with names like Crooked Belly Button or Blue Rocks, the name having little to do with the song itself. A single tune may in fact be known by several names, it's not unusual for someone at a dance requesting a particular song to have to, as the saying goes, hum a few bars. The more traditional Wyla bands are made up of guitars, violins, and two drummers, one on bass drum, one on snare. Other instruments began to appear in the Wyla bands in the 1950s with the addition of saxophones, accordions, and electric guitars. That's when I like it, you know. that's when we formed the band here. And it used to be, uh, our first name was uh, Wah Old Timers, you know. Old Timer Band, you know. Fiddle Band. So we played some old time music and then uh, after a few years and then we start playing with the, with the electric and all that, the microphones and stuff. And we played here in, in the bars and sometimes, uh, you know, for entertainment. So we changed our name then. So we're not going to be old timers, we're going to be just a San Jose fiddle band because we play all kind of music now. Not just the old time band. No. Religious uh, days, you know, they come like the Saints days, and they celebrate that. And what they do, they cook chili and you know, all kind of tradition food, and then they, the dance starts like some of them starts at noon mm -hmm. on the weekend. And they'll go up to in the evening and all night long until 8 o'clock in the morning. They'll still be dancing. 
the music going on strong. Were there certain tunes or are there certain songs that you should play at midnight and certain songs before midnight and certain songs after mm -hmm. midnight and certain songs at dawn? They play the new songs in the evening and then after midnight then they're going to start playing the you know, old songs which is tuned up on D on D which is the highest key you know. mm -hmm. and everything sounds better towards morning up to daylight and the sun comes up. So you'd retune your instruments mm -hmm. too for the, yeah, for the different... Yeah, retune them up. The all-night Wyla dances have for generations been the center of the social life in the remote desert villages of the vast reservation. To signal that it's time for the dancers to go home, the San Javier fiddlers play a medley of Wyla tunes and customarily end with Home Sweet Home, played in several dance rhythms. <laughs> 